YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another watched and commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're gonna be talking about head coach Ron Rivera and why I personally don't feel like he will be fired. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL or in this case. Our Washington Commanders, we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Oh, actually, we hit 5,000 subscribers. Yes, Larry, ladies and gentlemen, we hit 5,000 subscribers. So now we can flip that five to a six, and we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button. Everybody in here, man, if you're not subscribed, if you know somebody that is a fan of this team or the NFL, Hit that subscribe button, man. We're trying to have this be the biggest year of the channel. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So let's swiftly and quickly get to 6,000 subscribers. I know we can do that, man. Everybody just hit It's free. You know what I'm saying? It's free. So we just hit that subscribe button if you want to get updated with any NFL news, any Washington Commanders news. Now, let's get straight into today's video. So, okay, my mindset has quickly shifted. Okay, from, oh, this team could possibly make the playoffs to off-season time. It's off-season. Yes, the team still has one more game left. That game does not matter, obviously, as we know. That game has no impact on us whatsoever. In fact, I hope that Dallas drubs us. I want another 56-14 to 14 massacre again, okay? Because then maybe that, can, uh, that maybe that would just have some type of change. I don't know, which I highly doubt. I hope we get drugged, okay? Really, I do. Um, so my mindset is now off season, okay? And it sucks because it feels like this season just started. It felt like I was just walking in the FedEx field for week one versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. And yesterday and time after time today, I've just been thinking to myself, like, dang, it's really over. Like, yeah, we got one more game left, but it's – it's over. Like, that's crazy. Now we got to wait a whole nother eight months for this team to play a meaningful football game again. And this is like this every single year. I'm tired of that. I want to have postseason time. I want to have postseason, a postseason, right? We were supposed to be getting ready for postseason. That's what this year was supposed to be. What did Ron Rivera say? The third year is when I expect to take a big leap. Exactly. I thought that was going to be the case too. But looking back at it on Ron Rivera's, Three years so far here, we have not moved the needle at all. The needle has not moved once. We won seven games in his first year. We won seven games in his second year. And we're on the verge of winning seven games in his third year. And also along with that, we still do not have a franchise quarterback. I told you, I just realized, in my opinion at least, Ron Rivera, I just realized this like a week ago, Ron Rivera did this rebuild wrong. He did. If you weren't going to get your franchise quarterback in 2020, which, again, I wanted Chase Young. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I wanted Justin Herbert. Hindsight 2020, if we could redo the draft, obviously we would take Justin Herbert with, without a doubt. But going back to that draft, I wanted Chase Young, obviously. So if you weren't going to get your franchise quarterback, you should have tried your hardest to get your franchise quarterback in 2021. Instead of taking Jamie Davis, and granted, Jamie Davis has, has has started to come around. Okay, he he's a, he's a he's a real solid linebacker, right? Okay, but that was the draft for you to get your quarterback, Mac Jones. If we got Mac Jones here, Mac, we in the playoffs. Mac Jones was taking at fifteen, trade up four spots to 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 uh get Mac Jones. Shoot, throw it all on the table for Trey Lance. Like you know, do something, right? No, you don't. In 2022, you don't draft a quarterback. Yes, you draft Sam Howell in the fifth round, but you don't go, you don't make an assertion again. That that draft class was not, you know, um uh, that that good with quarterbacks. Obviously, Kenny Pickett being the only first round quarterback uh taken. But I was even saying I would take Kenny Pickett in the first round. I was even saying that. And looking back on it, I love Jahan Dawson to death now. Like, I wasn't the biggest Jahan Dawson fan. As you guys know, I wanted Chris Olave, which uh, it would have been, been a win-win situation. Either way it goes. Or Jamison Williams. Jamison Williams is good, too, even though he's come back over 20 ACL. It doesn't matter. Um, but we got Jahan Dawson. I love him now. I love the pick. The pick is growing on me. He's an elite receiver for us, right? 
He probably would be the offensive rookie of the year front runner if he never missed, uh, got hurt and missed those games. But looking back on it, then I would probably, I would probably take Kenny Pickett at eleven. I probably would because at least, okay, if this season went up into hell in a handbasket like we did now, like it is now, if this season went the same way now, and we had Kenny Pickett on the roster right now, and we seen that how he was playing. At least that gives them some, uh, some type of uh, some type of you know some type of confidence headed into this offseason. That a hey, man year two of Kenny Pickett, year four of Ron Rivera. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this is the offseason we go out and get another wide receiver or something like that, right? Um, then we could we could make some noise, but we didn't do that. Which Again, I'm not going to fault him too much for not doing that in this past draft class because obviously there weren't that many good quarterbacks. But Ron Rivera should have got his quarterback in his first three years here. Or any and if in his first two years, 2020 or 2021, and he should have got his first, he should have got his quarterback. He didn't do that. So now you're heading into year four with Ron Rivera, and you still don't have a franchise quarterback. The only hope for this team moving forward is that Sam Howe is just him. He's the next great thing. That's the only hope we have. Or we're going to continue to cycle and we're going to continue to run on the hamster wheel in circles with this revolving door of veteran quarterbacks. First, it was Ryan Fitzpatrick. Then it was Taylor Heineke. Although he wasn't a starter, he's still a friend. He's still a, a veteran quarterback. Now, then it was Carson Wentz. Then it was Taylor Heineke. Again. You're going to continue to do that. Okay, that's more likely the uh the other option if Sam Howell isn't the guy because you're not you're not going to be in a position to draft Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud. Ron Rivera did this thing wrong, and you know what? He's not going to get up there in front of the camera and say that. He's not going to admit to that. He's never going to hold account. He never holds accountability for it. He's still yet to admit to come out and say he made a mistake on Carson Wentz. Oh, I, I'm the one that watched the film. Okay, I'm the one that looked at all the analytics and said Carson's the guy. Oh, really? That right there in itself should have explained to you that this guy does not know what he's doing. And then you make a poor decision. Looking back on it, again, I'm not going to bash you too hard because I, I was in the middle. I really didn't care because I thought we were going to beat the Browns. Like, I didn't care if it was Taylor Heineke or Carson. Was, I felt like we were going to be good enough to beat the Browns, whoever was starting. But you fail to adjust. After Carson Wentz throws that second pick, you should have put Taylor Heineke in the game. But you didn't do that. And you're still not admitting that you made that you missed on Carson Wentz. And he's not going to. He's not getting fired, though, guys. So y'all can get that out there. That's why you don't, that's why you're not going to see me making a video coming up here saying Ron Rivera should should be fired or we should clean house. Because it's not going to happen. It's not. Ron Rivera is going to be here next year. Okay. For two reasons. One, Daniel Snyder has gave him too much power. And then two, this team is in the mix of possibly getting sold. Notice I said possibly because it's not a guarantee. Everyone wants to come out here and say this team is getting sold for sure, for sure. There's already been bidders and stuff like that. But Dan Snyder doesn't have to sell it to him. He doesn't have to. So this team is in a position to possibly be getting sold. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. But let's assume it does, okay? It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's probably going to happen like maybe March or April, right? So you sell the team March or April. The new owner finally comes in around April time, right? Early April. Then what's what's in late April, y'all? The draft. Let's say it happens in March. What's in, what's in April? The draft. So so the, the so the new owner is going to come in and then clean house and then find a, a new staff within thirty days to a month, a month and thirty days. No. That's not going to happen. So what is he going to do? He's going to keep the same staff around for one more year, and he's probably going to clean house the next year. He's going to stay here, y'all. And that's very unfortunate because he needs to go. He needs to go. We need to get a young guy in here. We really do. I've been clamoring for that for two years. I wanted Kevin O'Connell. Y'all go back to my videos. I wanted Kevin O'Connell to, to be the head coach. Because I was tired of letting these young, innovative offensive minds walk out the door. Kevin O'Connell is now in Minnesota. Matt LaFleur is now with uh, Green Bay. 
Kyle Shanahan is now with San Francisco. Uh, obviously, Sean McVay is with the with the uh, Rams. Tired of letting these young offensive minds walk out of the door. And I wanted Kevin O'Connell, and we didn't do it. You're telling me the Giants can make the playoffs with not nearly as much talent as us, but we can't? Why is that? Because of coaching. If you give the Giants our roster, they're probably a 12-win, 11-win team. If you give us Brian Dable, we're probably an 11, 12-win team right now. It's coaching, but it's not going to change because of the state of this franchise and just because of what the ownership does. The ownership is not going to do anything. If we were under good ownership, Ron Rivera ass would have been fired. He would have been fired yesterday. But we don't have good ownership. Dan Tony Snyder wasn't even at the game yesterday. He's not going nowhere, bro. And I'm sorry to bust it to you, bust your guys' bubble that was hoping for it to happen, but there's no way you generally thought Ron was going to go anywhere this year. <sighs> At least what I'm hoping for, if Ron Rivera can't get fired, we get rid of Sky Turner. I know a lot of y'all want to also get rid of Jack Del Rio, which I'm not blaming you guys for, but I can stomach Jack Del Rio, okay? Sky Turner, I can't. I can't no more. I've been done with him for two years, since 2020. He needs to go. But, again, more likely than not, it's going to be the same staff neck here. Ron Rivera, Sky Turner, and Jack Doria running the show. It's not going to be nothing different. And we're probably going to be lining it up with Derek Carr or Jimmy Garoppolo. Again, if the only hope they have is that Sam Howe is him. If I'm them, next year I'm rolling with Sam Howe. I, I don't want Derek Carr. Like Derek Carr isn't bad, right? But he's not going to move the needle. It's a reason why he hasn't won in Las Vegas. Right? He's not going to move. It's going to be the same thing over and over. It's going to be a veteran quarterback that's going to win you seven, eight games, and you're going to be on the outside looking in the playoffs. So I'd rather either be really, really good with Sam Howell next year and he's just the next big thing or really, really bad. So when the next regime comes in, we can have a top three pick, top five pick in the draft. That's what needs to be happening because Ron Rivera is not going nowhere. I wish he was, but it's not going to happen. So, yeah, y'all, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti, we're now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 10,000 by the end of this year. So, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and let me know you guys' thoughts on today's video. See you guys next time. I'm out. Hey. Uh, cost me one time. That's going to get you pop. Get you pop. Man.